All right, emergency press conference, two things right now. First of all, do not wear a sweatshirt when you go on a walk in the park in the frigid, flurry-infested snow on this mid-March, mid to late March afternoon because it's about 32 degrees and the sweatshirt, and there's wind, about 10 to 20 mile per hour wind gusts, and the sweatshirt all it does is funnel the cold air down your body. It doesn't really insulate you whatsoever. And second, here's the emergency press conference. ESPN has turned into a generic version of WWE SmackDown with Pat McAfee. Now, there's nothing wrong with Pat McAfee. He does a great job. He's a great analyst. But he might as well be the WWE Monday Night SmackDown guy with the top hat that you see because he goes from football analyst, sports analyst daily, which he does a great job at, and then transforms into basically the lizard from Spider-Man, like a Marvel character with that nasty voice he always talks with. Like, and, 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 and he's a good analyst, but he ruins it at the... At the end, when he talks like this, and WWE sucks down. And, and the biggest example of this was the week three college game day, Colorado State taking on Colorado in Boulder. And, and, and it is exactly what he says at the end. He does this great analysis about why he thinks Colorado, uh, which Shador and Dion, they're going to railroad Jay Norvell after the after the comments he made during the week, how they're going to railroad Colorado State. But instead of saying it just like that, he goes WWE commentator mode and goes like, and that's why I have the Colorado Buffaloes railroading the Jay Norvell and the Colorado State Rams. You see, like, you don't have to do that, you know what I mean? So emergency press conference, Pat McAfee, ESPN, might as well be WWE Monday Night SmackDown on a daily basis.